welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. We are going on with this wonderful collection of stories about the life and work of Tom Dorrance. And today's story comes from Jen Hannock. The memory that comes to me the most often, and I think reflects Tom the best, is the first day I met you and Tom. I had called a short time before and had a great visit. I later came to realise Tom's term visit, of course that is. With Tom on the phone, I told him that I'd worked with Ray Hunt in my early teens, breaking babies from my mum's breeding programme. And in my endeavours to become a more skilled hunter-jumper rider trainer, I had saw other professionals in the field of show jumping and had drifted from the days I spent breaking babies. Well, I acquired a couple of young horses that had not been started with the intent of developing them for the show ring. However, these young horses, one in particular, were not as willing to be swayed into being ridden. I was hoping that Tom would have some ideas or could give me direction on whom or where to find help in getting these youngsters going. Tom offered to stop by and visit with me and the horses if that was all right by me. I, of course, was thrilled with the idea that he would come and take a look. I didn't realise that he meant to actually help me work the horses and get started with the programme that day, his definition of a visit. The thing that I remember most that day is when Tom entered the barn and the introductions were complete. He asked which horses I had concerns about. I pointed to their stalls, one next to the other, and he walked over to them. The horses put their heads over the stall doors and Tom put a hand on either side of each head and looked at them. The first gelding he commented on what a good looking big colt he was and thought he was quite intelligent. The second gelding he took a little longer and said, this colt is very troubled. I had not mentioned to him which of the two had been the most difficult and as with everything with Tom, you didn't need to. He already knew. Some would refer to this as a horse whisperer. However, I know that Tom didn't care for that term, nor do I think that it was fitting of him. But Tom definitely could read a horse and sense its inner self. He knew quickly and accurately what a horse needed or was feeling. He always had an approach that was soft and kind, yet very firm. The horses responded to that. The horses responded to that and longed for more. That day stays with me. Every time I look at a horse, I remember Tom's sense of the horse through his touch and the horse's eye. Ah, oh, beautiful things to really keep in mind forever with every horse. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time.